Hello YouTube, Benchmade55 here. Well, this is uh, part two on the goat barn. Uh, this is where we left off last time. I had just gotten this side up. But now uh, I'm pretty much knocked it all out except for the windows. So I'm really happy the way that it turned out. I want to give you a little tour of it and then you can see what we got going on here. I'll step away a little bit. So there's one of the sides there where the, uh, where the seams showed up. I've used some boards and run them um, vertically and everything else is horizontal. It, uh, on the bottom there, I have that, uh, that one board that's treated that has uh, contact with the ground. So I won't have any problem with that. I'm going to put a uh, preservative on here that uh, is like a Thompson's preservative or something. And we'll just sp use on a spray bottle and put that on there to uh, keep the borer bees out and to um, just preserve the wood a little bit so it doesn't get a dark look to it. So let me take you around to the front here. Got a nice overhang on it. Put some gutters on in the front. So that's what the front of it looks like. Uh, we have some poles set in there that will be used for an immediate fence right around their area so that we'll feel like if we want to just uh, put them in there and it'll have a really secure fence and uh, they can go in the in the uh, barn and then in the um, in their pen if we're um, you know not here or whatever for the day so that will um, that'll be good and then we're going to uh, run up a, a pasture that we have here a small one and put in some uh, uh, fencing for them so that they have a nice place to go. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Kind of has that rustic old west look to it. And like I said, you couldn't beat the price on it with that, uh, that lumber, um, getting it from the sawmill there. So I put a couple of pieces like that one in the front there that looks pretty cool and just kind of added that on there to make it look good. So let's go over here and I'll take you inside and show you what else we did there. There's a trap up there that uh, is for the borer bees. They go in those holes there and then they get stuck inside there and that's it. Then they're chicken food. So. Um, because they sure like the raw wood and any place that there's a hole or anything started for instance right in here and stuff that's from uh, some uh, bugs that was in the lumber they go and um, get over there and drill a hole in there and they lay their eggs or whatever they do and anyway they make they, they can really uh, destroy a, a barn or your house or anything so let's go in and have a look Got a nice latch on the front here. Hopefully that'll work to uh, to keep the goats in there when I want, because they'll be inside and they'll have to push to um, on the inside, so they can't push the door open. I painted the door to match the color of the of the other barns and things that we have around here. So here we are inside. As you can see right there, that's a um, that's like a sofa for goats. They got it made in here. It's like the Taj Mahal. That's going to be there where they can go to, you know, uh, for their bedding. Uh, you see those boards on the inside. That's um, where I had showed you on the previous video. There's some gaps, and uh, so I just used scraps that I had on the inside to fill that in. So that's what that looks like. Uh, let's see if we get a little adjustment on there. And it's a, just going to be a dirt floor, and we'll uh, we got we just got a bale of uh, or a round bale of straw that we'll put on the ground there for bedding. And um, 
So it's got a really cool feel in here. It feels nice and airy because of the windows. Now this area over here will be the kidding area and we'll be putting something across the front there. But that gives them a little spot for when they have babies to go in there and be away from everybody else. And um, they got a window if they want to have a view. Ha! <laughs> this here is going to be the, uh, right here is going to be the storage for uh, their feed and for the, um, the grain that they, and the, the uh, alfalfa and, and all that they eat. So we got a pallet in there that that'll all be stored on. But it's a nice light airy feeling in here. So everything's got to have a lock for the goats and we'll see how they break in since it's my first time having goats. So I might end up having uh, a lot more locks or whatever. And we were just going to put this door on there and just leave that. It's about four and a half feet, but we just decided to put a little bit extra um, wire up there on the top so that they, uh, they just can't get in there. Because I know if they eat too much of the wrong type of food that they can uh, get sick if it's too much grain or if it's too much uh, uh, alfalfa. I'm not sure exactly what they eat yet. Now, uh, and then this side over here where we had the, uh, the pen for the, um, the kidding area, we're gonna have to put up some wire here. So I gotta, I gotta wrap that up. But I want to get it all done and get it uh, cleaned up enough so that we can um, put the preservative on there and, and keep the, the bugs and everything out before we start getting into the heavy part of the weather where we have afternoon thunderstorms every day. Now this turned out really cool here. This is gonna be the milking stand. And so how that's going to work is, well this is my plan anyway, is that this part that's jutting out, you'll sit on there and the goat will be back there. Her head will come up in the front here. So you're in that purple bucket there. The plan is, let me take the lid off there, so you can see that. Oop. The plan's going to be that they'll put their head in here and then we close this off here and their head will be in there and they can have some snacks while we're milking them and we'll see how that works. I'm not sure about the size of their necks or anything if that's going to be too tight but I can always take a spoke shave and just knock it down and adjust it but it's it's pretty sturdy uh, it should hold up quite well and uh, it looks nice and um, rustic and matches the rest of the barn so I'm uh, I saw some plans on the or I saw a picture of one similar to this on uh, the internet and so I just kind of took it and went with it my own way. I'm not sure if that seat part's going to work out uh, but if not I'll just cut it off and we'll we'll use a stool. So that is the uh, goat barn and um, really happy with the way it turned out and all I gotta do is put the fencing on the outside And we will be ready to get our goats we have this gate here that we'll be using not sure if that's going to be tall enough but we're going to have the uh, electric fence going around the top and we have a four foot high goat wire for the for them uh, and then electric fence above that so I think those posts are about seven, maybe six and a half feet sticking out of the ground. When I get all that done, 
I'll, uh, I'll update you on that and and let's see the goats and then we start the comedy routine of uh, us trying to take care of them and to milk them. Oh, that'll be fun. Okay, this is Benchmade55 signing out. Uh, please like and subscribe us to us. Thanks.